Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we will be talking about the one and only Peak Design Travel Tripod. This little guy has been such a helpful tool and today I want to get into my initial thoughts and impressions and what I think about the product as I've had some time with it. I was dumb and did not plug in my microphone for the unboxing, so here's my little montage. <laughs> And right out of the box, I was super impressed with the build quality of this product. It's very sturdy and it feels good. It's relatively light considering that this is a tripod. The version that I opted for is the aluminum because poor, but we'll get into that later. Any metal on the tripod is from aluminum and it's got pretty good plastics. If I could sum up this tripod in one word, I would say it's very thoughtful. They've seriously put in so much thought into every tiny little nook and cranny of this product. So we'll start with what I like, and then we'll get into what I don't like. For starters, the quality is really good, like we mentioned before. So while this may not have all the bells and whistles, it definitely has most of them. I'm sure you guys have seen many videos on this tripod for all its cool bag of tricks, but I gotta say, it's pretty cool. One small detail that I love is the knob right here. It actually pops out so that it's easier to turn. Another thing that I noticed is they actually placed a tiny magnet inside so that when you're done with it and you put it away, it snaps and won't fall back out, which I think is so, so intuitive. And as you may know, you can easily deploy the feet by grabbing these latches and unlocking them. And to tighten it, you can simply grab and spin your arm around to get all three of the latches at the same time. I'm also really happy about this little tool. If you may or may not know, the plates that they actually use don't use a traditional flathead. You would actually need an Allen key. And while I think this is annoying, their reasoning is that you get more torque out of an Allen key to tighten, as well as having a pretty flat profile. In their earlier designs, they had the Allen key in a pocket on the external bag, but I'm really glad that they opted to do this instead. And it's got like a nice little home for the key. And to, well, to be honest, I initially thought it was kind of gimmicky and wouldn't work very well. If you look closely at the bottom, you've got the hook, but if you pull the outer ring down and twist, it will release to reveal a phone mount. And it sticks via magnets, so people like me won't drop it and lose it when I'm trying to get it out. And now you have this cool little phone mount. Anyway, very impressed, very happy about that. I don't think I've seen anyone do that before, so good job. Again, I'm really happy about the build quality and the size. I mean, this thing is tiny. I know the camera won't do it justice, but guys, like, this is so small, but it can extend all the way to about chin height for me. And I'm about 5'11", so it's crazy that that much height is packed into this tiny little tripod. Okay, now the bad stuff. I'm not trying to tear them down in any way. It's just something that I've noticed that I think could help improve their product in the future, as well as some insights for you guys, since this tripod is not cheap, which is my first complaint, the price. This little guy costs this big guy. And while most high quality professional tripods can run around two to $300, I mean, you know, that's that's pretty normal. This is not a video head. This is a photo tripod. Video tripod heads have different mechanisms and oil inside of them to allow you to pan and tilt with really, really smooth drag. This fluid drag system is what sets them apart from traditional photo tripods. In the realm of video work, you could potentially be holding your camera or a cinema camera, which is definitely heavier, a monitor, a light, a mic, a burrito. And so the tripod is built to carry a lot of weight as well as give you very very smooth cinematic pans and tilts. This tripod on the other hand is a photo tripod and it's exactly what you think it's gonna do. It's gonna hold your camera in place and that's about it. And I'm somewhat comparing apples and oranges, but still that's a high price. And the second complaint that I have is kind of an oxymoron. Everything about this tripod is so intuitive except for how you actually use the tripod. If you look at the ball head, there are two rings that need to be rotated. And while the lock for the plate is clearly labeled, the ring for locking the ball head is not. And this is just something I've noticed and you'll totally notice it too. But in most videos where people talk about this tripod, they always struggle to get this right the first time. Like, you know, which way does it turn to lock? Which way does it turn to release? And by turning so many things in such a close vicinity, it could be easy for people to make mistakes and in the worst possible scenario, potentially damage their camera. Oh. Ooh. That was not the tripod's fault, that was my fault. I so this may not be a big deal, and honestly, people will probably just get used to this over time. And for the most part, it's just user error, really, because a product this smart should be stupid proof. 
And honestly, those are really my only complaints about the tripod. Ah, uh, it's just, it's so good. This is the tripod that keeps giving. Peak Design also makes these little dangly bits so that you can wear your tripod with your camera strap. I think many other tripod companies should learn from their example because they have made something awesome. Okay, so who is this tripod for? In my world of work, I'm mostly traveling, but the main perk is in the name. This is a travel tripod. It's tiny, is smaller than most water bottles. It's very light compared to my other tripod, very easy to use. And this tripod is so small and inconspicuous, it fits into the ecosystem of how I shoot very, very well. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please like it. Comment down below what you would like me to cover next. So tell me if there's anything that you'd like me to cover or teach you guys about. Do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. What is this called? <laughs>